All right, guys, how to put together your portfolio. So you're gonna take your large piece of paper and you're gonna fold it together. So you're gonna bring the two short ends together and you're gonna go carefully together so it's nice and straight. I like to hold it here and then I'll just kind of slowly, evenly crease it on this side. Okay, that'll give you a nice little folder. Now for this year, uh, for third, fourth, and fifth, we're all going to do the same thing. We're going to keep our name tags in the upper left-hand corner. Okay, so third grade, fourth grade, or fifth grade, doesn't matter which grade level you're in, but they're all going to be the same. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to take a glue stick, and when you glue it down, you're going to glue right on the edges. It's very important that you do that. Take your time, slow down, and then I like to do a look like, like an X in the middle. Just give it a little bit more glue. Okay, So you're going to go right here, and you're going to hold it. I like to count to about 10 when I'm doing this. So in my head, I'm just counting, and I'm pushing it down while I'm doing that. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, If you do that, it should hold pretty good. Okay. You're going to write your name right here. Uh, make sure you write your name nice and neat. If there's somebody with the same name, make sure you put the, your last initial on there. Over here it says class code. So you'll put whatever your class code is. Okay. So if you're in fourth grade, you'd have four, and that's the first letter of your teacher. Okay. So right there that goes. And then one more thing for putting these together. We want to seal up this one side over here. Okay, I noticed that some things were falling out. So what we're going to do, and I can help a little bit with this part if you aren't able to do this. Okay, You're going to put the tape on it, but the tape's going to go along the edge. So you go half of it here. And I like to, almost like you're taping it down to the table. And I'm going to rip it there. Peel it up, and on the other side, I just bend it and fold it over, okay, carefully, and that'll seal up this side over here so nothing falls out. Now what you need to do next is take a scissors, and you're going to cut off the edges here. So I'm going to do a little cut right here, just to kind of straighten it up, like that, okay. Now, there's going to be some artwork handed out to you today, probably, and you're going to fill it up in your portfolio, and then you can start um, decorating and drawing on the outside. Now, this is a chance and opportunity to draw something of your choice, okay? A lot of students have a hard time coming up with their own ideas, so I'm going to share a few ideas with you today from a fourth grade class. Okay? Here's Harper from 4C. Uh, she really likes to draw those mannequins, so she's drawing a mannequin, and she has a puppy on the front. Now, this is not something that needs to be finished in one day. It's something you can come back to later on in the year to add a little color if you get done with projects earlier. Uh, this one is Isaac, also from 4C. He's ju just doing a bunch of smaller images. Uh, he found these on his Chromebook. He was looking at different... Um, different ideas, and he was just going to fill it up with all these cool ideas. So that's a really cool start there for Isaac. And then Logan, from also from 4C, really likes to draw uh, different types of dragons. So he's drawing a big one on the front here. And I hopefully uh, he adds some color to that to make it even a, a cooler one. All right, guys, good luck with your portfolios.